Hi everybody, I'm Daria Nettleton from Teen Fit Mission and I've been getting requests to um, know how to erase the background in a pic monkey picture. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So here we go. So right now, let's see, open this up. So this is my pic monkey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick design. So right here, I'm just going to pick the square picture and pick monkey and you can have it. There's a free version and a paid version. I have the paid version, but these most of this you can do with the free version. So you have your pick monkey. Um, this is just the square. I just picked a square to edit. Oh, things are acting up here. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're back here, back to the square, and then it's because I have recordings going. We're going to hit transparent canvas. So this is going to give you that transparent background, but now you're going to have to go and pick your picture. So we're going to apply that canvas color, and then we're going to go here to the butterfly. You pick the butterfly, which is the overlays, and then you pick your own. So this is where you're going to grab your picture. So I'm going to go in here, and let's see. See, go to my desktop because I think that's where. Let's see, hopefully this is the one that doesn't. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna pick. I'm just gonna use this picture because it's got a background on it, but it's a white background, but I can still do it. So what you do here, I enlarge the picture, right? And then I just go to eraser. And then this is what's important. So to begin with, I'm going to do a large eraser because I want to kind of get rid of the big pieces. The eraser hardness, I'm going to make it really hard because that way I don't have to worry about it's going to be gone. I'm going to erase, completely eradicate these pieces that are big. I don't want them showing through. I want them gone. I don't want a halo effect or anything like that. So essentially I'm going to go around and with this very hard eraser and try to get like the main pieces out, out of my picture, right? So that I'm going to have a nice transparent background, but I just want to try to make it a little bit easier on myself by getting these pieces out like that, those big, big hunks. And just keep going around. So like this, right? And I'm gonna crop this too, just so that I can quickly show you because I want you to see the effect and what you need to do here. I'll even swipe this. Just try to really get in there and try to, you know, try not, you know, if you do make a mistake, I'll show you like you, you know, you take off a piece of your arm or something, you can go here and you can undo it. So there's ways to undo it as well. There's also a paintbrush. You can paint it back in if you want to get that specific. So basically I've gotten most of the big pieces out of here, the large pieces that I don't want to mess around with. And now I want to get closer to my body. So how am I going to do that? and still keep continuity. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I can make my eraser a little smaller, but I'm going to take the hardness down to about 15, anywhere from 15 to 17, so that it's softer. Um, I'm also, I'm going to zoom in, so I'm gonna use the zoom feature down here so I can zoom in. And then you'll see, and I think I'm gonna make my eraser a little bit smaller, but as you come in here and as you erase, right, it, it gets, you can get really close to your image, but it almost makes this like halo effect so that it, when you put it into a background, you're not, it's not going to be harsh. You know, it's actually going to blend in, you know, there's going to be sort of like, a, I don't want to say an ombre effect, but it, it is, it's almost like an ombre effect that takes place, you know, and I get here really close, even with the hair and stuff like that. And, you know, really, because you see what happens, like, even if I get close to the hair, like, might lighten it, see there, but it doesn't, like, take it away. You know, it's a much softer, even in here, like, right, so right in between the hair pieces, you know, I'll make it smaller, but it just gives a softer um, effect, you know, which is, like, really cool, because you'll be able to see the background 
through this. Um, let me see if I can. And you can just click on your, um, if you click on the zoom here, you can see, you can then move, you can move it again so that you can continue just swiping and getting close as you want to the body. And it makes, again, we can get really close because even with the jacket and everything, now you can see how this might be a problem if you use the softer eraser um, with, if you use the softer eraser initially, you might end up with a problem because it could definitely um, show through and it won't be as clean and it won't look as sharp, you know, as you want it. And especially when you can zoom in like this, it makes a big difference because then, you know, even if there are like some errors or some mistakes or you didn't really get the whole background, um, it will not be as noticeable. And then you can just use your little feature to drag it and just kind of keep going. So I'm just going to, I am going to crop this. So let me, um, so that I don't have to go through this whole thing because I want to, you to see what it looks like, you know, once we save it and then put it into a background, you'll see how clean it is. And I can just, pretty sure I have my clean background. Could literally put it into any background, but it's it's really impressive. Like when you put it on like a colored background. And again, if you do something that you don't like, you can always hit that refresh button so that you can um, uh, the back button up here, because then you can um, undo what you did. Like if you just got too close to the arm, or just gonna keep going. Dragging it around the elbow. See how there's a, like a little whiteness there because it's like a softer, but that's okay because that background is actually going to show through there and it just makes it more realistic, whatever background you're able to stick this picture on. So see I'm gonna cut this off all right I want to zoom out here let me see I think I see yeah, around the head and stuff like that this is where you kind of have to you know it's like that attention to detail once you get it it happens you can do this fairly quickly it's not it really isn't um, a painful labor and even look, I had a crazy hair sticking out there, so I was able to kind of erase it, which is nice. Um, it's going around the head. Kind of want to get it close as you can. You know, you could do this fine with a colored background too. So it's not just, you know, erasing a white background. It's, you know, you can get in there pretty good with the... Um, with these tools and you can make the eraser smaller and you'll still get the same effect. You know, I like to kind of get in there and get in between the hair and things like that because I think it just has kind of a cooler effect. Um, you know, when you do make it so that you can see through like the hair and things like that, but that's just, you know, you just end up taking the eraser size down so it's a bit smaller and then just kind of swiping it through there. And it kind of gives a really kind of, to me, I think it gives like a very cool effect. It just ends up looking more Photoshopped without having to pay for Photoshop, right? So we go down here. Let's move a little bit more, right? Increase my eraser size and we will get going because I'm going to crop this anyway. Okay, good enough. All right. Zoom back out. That's great. Okay, then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to crop. So I'll just take this like this and you can drag it literally however you want, but I'm just going to go like that. 
and I'm gonna apply and that's it. So now what I wanna do is I wanna hit save and then what I do, so it's like it's gonna save it as a PNG file and that's what you want. I just hit this and I do, cause I have a Mac and I just save in the jazz, right? And I'm gonna say test picture. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Save. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into PicMonkey and I'm going to go out of this application. So I am going to leave that page. And now I'm going to edit. So I'm gonna take my glitter wallpaper, put it here. Then I'm gonna go and get my picture now. So I'm gonna hit the butterfly again, pick your own, right? So then I'm going to pick, let's see, we're on a desktop. I'm gonna grab my test picture, I'm gonna open it. Now when I open it, what's really awesome about PicMonkey is what, you can make this picture big, and it maintains all of the, um, the properties of the picture. So you can see I could have done a little better job around the head there and things like that, right? But in any event, what I could do is I could just place this here like this, right? It's for my ad. And then I could continue with my ad, you know? I can continue, you know, one of the popular things I do, and I'll just give you a little extra tip here is, you know, I'll do, I'll put like a banner up or something um, about what I'm going, what I'm doing and I'll stretch it like this. I could slide that sucker over like that, right? And then I'll take it like this and slide over. I love pick monkey. And then you're going to hit the color. And what I would do is I get the little dropper and maybe I want the gold color in here. So I'll pick a gold color so I can have a standout type of bar. Then I'm gonna send it to the back so it's behind my head. Then I can go in here and I can grab some text once it cooperates. Um, and I can continue putting my ad together. Um, this is basically, uh, I hope this helps you and I hope that you can see you know, how it makes a difference and how you can put a picture onto an ad. But um, it's really, um, I find that once you start to learn it and once you get to, to know how to do it, it becomes a heck of a lot easier. So it's uh, really not something that's too difficult to learn. And um, I think it's, it ends up becoming a lot of fun. So I hope you learned something new today. And ask me any questions, post below. I'd love to help you some more. Take care.